Welcome back to another video. Right now I'm in Kojido, which is an island just at the bottom of South Korea, kind of near Busan. I'm here because my parents live here and if you follow me for a while on my videos, you probably know that I come here quite often to visit parents, but also to just come hang out. The reason I'm making this video is because we are about to get one of the worst typhoons in a long time. And it's gonna go straight through Kojido, which is just outside and basically going to be riding it out here. So I think it'd be interesting to see how it goes. Um, right now it is 5th of September at almost 9 p.m. However, this typhoon is supposed to hit the area tomorrow morning at around 6 a.m. So it's not too bad out right now. It's actually just sort of lightly raining. And I think it'll be interesting to see how it progresses through the night until I go to bed, but we'll see if I wake up. I'll try to wake up early enough to try catch the actual monsoon. And if it's like safe enough, maybe we can go outside as well. But I thought it'd just be interesting and maybe a little bit fun to see how this goes. So reading Korean news, it's supposed to hit here around six to 9 a.m. It's described as strong which means it's going to be 33 to 43 meters per second winds. It's going to be 73 mile per hour winds or 118 kilometers per hour winds minimum. So that should be interesting. I don't know if I've ever been in winds that strong. So we'll see. So I'm, I'm going to go to bed soon. It's like 11.30 p.m. And so far it's not too bad. We've had a few moments of like some wind hitting the house and some things might have been shaken a bit, but I don't think anything is really like fallen over or broken or anything like that. So we'll see by tomorrow morning when it's supposed to be its worst. And because then it will be light as well, maybe we can actually look outside and see what's going on. But right now it's just completely dark. So you won't be able to see anything anyway. So I'm not even gonna try show anything. And right now there's no noise. Cause I think it's sort of calmed down, like calm before the storm. So we'll see. I'll, I, if I get woken up by it, I am gonna try and remember to record something, but if not, tomorrow morning while I have my coffee, we'll see how bad it is. So, that, so I guess that means I'll see you in the morning. This coffee grinder is missing a piece, so it doesn't work. So instead, yesterday, I bought iced coffee. So I'm gonna just try and heat this up and see how good it tastes. Last night, or rather this morning, I got woken up around, I got woken up around four or 5 a.m. Um, because the wind was really like hitting the house hard. But looking around, there's like not much damage at all. Uh, greenhouse is still in one piece, which is good. Uh, everything down there looks pretty good. I don't really think uh, the storm is much to worry about at the moment, unless it picks up again. But I think in a bit after coffee and getting ready, we'll go walk around the village and see if there's any other like damage around the village because it was pretty strong last night. As for this coffee, which I heated up from like cold iced coffee, it's not bad, it'll do for now, but I wanna try to figure out a coffee problem today as well. So I'm gonna go out and check if there's any damage done in the little fishing village that we live in. I haven't even left 
house yet and I already found this tiny little tree frog. So cute, just hanging out in the shade because it's really hot today. Literally this morning it was all grey skies, windy and everything, but now it's all so blue and beautiful and so sunny. Lots of leaves. That's all I see so far. Just tons of leaves being blown around. Doesn't look like there's much damage elsewhere. You can see people have been, people have already prepped for it, flipped over stuff that might blow away. But it looks like in the back maybe some of their seats blew over too. But we'll have to go down to the little fishing village down here to see how bad it is. It's not too bad in terms of damage. Oh, maybe there's a boat that just got flipped over. So that's probably the extent of the damage. But yeah, it looks like it just churned up the water a bunch because it's usually not this dirty. It's usually pretty nice and clear and blue. But other than that, it looks like the damage isn't too bad. I did that walk around the village. Uh, my parents came and picked me up and we went and did some shopping in this place called Tongyong. But we're back now and I forgot to film some of the stuff I did there. But I did come back with some exciting stuff, which I'm really excited to make some videos with. First one is not as exciting as the other ones, but I'll show you anyway. First we got this, which is a giant glass jar with a little sort of, not really an air valve on top, but it's just got like a little vent on top. So I'm hoping to be able to ferment some alcohol in there, maybe some makgeolli or some honey mead. So that's that one. That one costs about $9. We also went to a, don't know what it's really called in Korean, but just somewhere that has lots of pottery. And I picked up some kimchi pots. So this one here was $20 and it's sort of like a smaller, mid smaller size one. I'm guessing this might hold about like a gallon. So this would be good for like making mead. And I do want to make mead in this or some makgeolli, which is Korean rice wine. And then for some smaller ferments, we also went and I also went and picked up this one, which cost about 15,000, which is $15. And it doesn't have the handles, but it's just another really great fermenting vessel. So I'm going to get these two cleaned up. I won't use them today because I'm still waiting on some other things I ordered to make alcohol, more specifically wine yeast. I do have some honey, which is some raw Korean local honey, which I think will taste amazing in the honey mead. In the smaller one, I might do an infusion with something. I'm thinking maybe perilla, which is genip, because we have a ton of it growing wild in our farm. And then in the bigger one, I'll probably just do like a pure Korean honey mead, just to see how that will taste, because it could taste amazing. We also had this arrive, which we ordered a few days ago, and it's just a barbecue, like a small, cheap barbecue, costs like 50 bucks but we do need a barbecue here. And it's one of those just classic Weber style barbecues, but I'm hoping to be able to do like a bit of smoking in it. So smoking some fish, smoking some vegetables, smoking meat. So I think I'm gonna assemble this now, but I won't be using it today. But in a future video, I'm hoping to use it with some shellfish or some mackerel. There's tons of mackerel here, it's so cheap. And I really wanna just start smoking it all just to see how good it can be. So first we're gonna assemble this. I'm thinking this will be fairly straightforward. We also went and picked up some accessories for this, basically just cleaning and maintenance products. Got a wire brush with like a scour side on there and a scrapey. And I'm hoping this is a mostly toolless assembly. That wire rack's a bit cheap. And wheels are cheap. This will be the bottom. And 
and the top. Is this supposed to have legs? Am I missing something? There was more in the bottom. I need a screwdriver. And that's done. Uh, really basic barbecue. Um, it's still pretty good, I guess. It's got the hook to put the lid on, but what do you expect for not even $50? This should last probably until the end of summer at least, maybe into next summer as well, but this should be good enough for the stuff that I want to do in the future. Probably just a lot of fish, but it's exciting. We're getting a proper barbecue with a lid because the lid is the most important part. I think I'm going to call it here today. Um, I didn't do much today. I did go around a bit, but first day back, also half the morning was typhoon, so couldn't really do much. But if the weather stays like this any longer, the next few days I should be able to do quite a few things. Got some stuff arriving, which should be fun to unbox. And then uh, we're gonna start using these kimchi pots to make some fun stuff. And I'm really excited. So thanks for watching. This is it for today.